But I'll tell you about C.S. Lewis first, shall I? When I came to Cambridge, the maths department was very near to the English language uh, faculty lecture theatre. So when the mathematics got boring, I shouldn't say that, but I'm old enough to say that now. I used to slip across the road and in amongst the students to listen to Lewis. And you've got to imagine an absolutely packed lecture theatre with just a tiny narrow aisle. Uh, students sitting on the floor all around the podium everywhere and he'd burst in through the door, it was winter, it was very cold, and he had a big thick coat on, the scarf and the hat, and he'd start lecturing the moment he came through the double doors. <laughs> and as he walked up the podium, he would unwind his scarf, he'd take off his hat, and he'd gradually take off his coat. So by the time he got to the podium, he'd just about divested himself of all of his garments, and he was at full blast. And that continued for 50 minutes, and then he reversed the process. <laughs> <laughs> he, kept lecturing as he put on his hat, he wound up his scarf, and his last uh, words were uttered um, as he disappeared through the door. So that's my lasting memory of C.S. Lewis. There was no time for questions. <laughs>